computers and calculators. Now here I'm going to go ahead and give you a few more tricks and skills in order to learn more about the TI-84. Now you'll notice that throughout the semester I will be showing various tricks and tools and programs to use with the TI-84. So every time I actually show you a new skill with this calculator, it is to your advantage to make sure that you can actually pay close attention and actually work on this alongside me. If you only just kind of watch what I do and kind of see, oh yeah, 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 I got what he did, uh, it's really not going to be too helpful for you. You should actually have the calculator right alongside you as this required. This is a required piece of your class is that you do need a TI-84 for many applications in this class. Now let's just jump right into the student notes very quickly. Uh, just computers and calculators provide numerical answers which help us save time and effort which is very important. However, the interpretation is not provided. You must understand and interpret the statistical concepts after the calculator or computer provide the numerical values you need. Now as an example to help us learn these new skills on the TI-84, here is a data table which contains the birth weights for 15 giraffes and they are given in pounds and I'll come back to this momentarily. Now the first order of business is to know how to take numbers like you just saw from that data table about the drafts and know how to access a list where you can list those numbers in the calculator and then use the calculator to your advantage to help you calculate and then later interpret the results. And what we first need to do is we need to get to those lists where we can actually input some numbers. So how we do that is we first go over here to where it says stat. This button right here where it says stat, and we click that first. And once we click that button stat, this screen should pop up. Now once this screen pops up, you'll notice we're right on the edit option, which is the one we want for now. So let's go ahead and click either the number one or you click enter. And you can see here I have a lot of numbers here. These numbers were inputted here from previous courses, previous examples, what have you. And so our first lesson in this particular section is going to be for us to learn how to clear a list. Because I don't want these numbers. These are not the numbers for that data table uh, regarding giraffe birth weights. So I need to get rid of these numbers. How do I do that? Well, what I do is I go over here to my arrows and I go ahead and I'm going to go to the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and click up one more to where the L1 is highlighted. Once the L1 is highlighted, go ahead now and press the clear button right below the arrows. Once you press the clear button, now press enter. And as you can see, all those numbers were erased. And let's go ahead and do the same for list two. Go up to L2, click clear. Also, as just as important, click enter. And now we have a cleared list. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and enter all those data values you saw from the previous slide. And how I do that is I simply go to this first little dotted line here and I start typing the data values that were from the previous page. So my first data value is 142. Type that. Click enter. Next, 143, enter. 140, enter. So on and so forth. Okay, now that we have our numbers listed here, it is now important for us to go ahead and sort this list. As you will see in future courses, future classes, future lessons, it will be very important to sort this in either ascending or descending order. Now trying to do this manually takes a lot of work and many times students mess up. If you were to type in the numbers from smallest to greatest or greatest to smallest manually, there is a lot of potential room for error and you don't want that. So the way we actually go ahead and sort this in ascending order is by using the calculator to do so. 
once you have all your data points listed here in the table, we're going to go ahead and get out of this um, area here. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of here. I'm going to go ahead and click stat first. And I'm back to the screen we had before. And you'll notice here that I have two options below the edit option, which is sort A and sort D. Sort A means I want to sort this out in ascending order. Sort D means I want to sort this in descending order. Now, typically, you don't want to sort these in descending. Typically, you'll notice that we usually use sort ascending order from smallest to greatest. So make sure you're highlighted on the number two and hit enter or type the number two. Now, once you have sort A in line here, now what we do is we want to sort a specific list. In this case, the only list I have is list one. And you'll notice that the title for list one here is located above the number one button in blue. So how do I get to list one here in blue? Many of you already may know this, but what you do is simply, again, I'm going to go ahead and look at the fact that it's above the number one button and it's in blue, which means what you need to do is scroll up here to where it says second, click the second key. And what that does, it enables all the blue labels that you see on this calculator. And I want L1. So again, go down to this one button and you click it and you'll notice that L1 pops up. And please be sure to close your parentheses here with this close parentheses button over here. Now we're going to go ahead and click enter. And now it says done. And what happens is, is something that's very um, useful, and you'll find that it's going to be saving you a ton of time, is now you go back to the stat button, click stat once again. And once again, we go ahead and click the edit option number one. So either click enter or number one. And you'll notice that our numbers are now magically in order from smallest to greatest. And you'll find again, this is a very, very, very useful. Um, thing to use for this particular class in many different applications.